Hi everyone, today's practice is focusing on our roots and a earth element, which means we will be working into the feet, into the legs and exploring the bottom half of the body more with this idea of stability in the practice. So when you're ready, I will see you on your mat in a active child's pose position. So that just means you're gonna tuck all 10 toes under. So you might even have to manually get your pinky toes involved. You can have your knees together. I always like to bring my knees a little wider so I can work into the hips. Walk your hands forward and then just release your chest to the ground and then Soften the forehead to the earth. So straight away, finding that rooted place of arrival. So I'm just gonna keep my chest lifted so you can hear me. But for you, I want you to just close down your eyes so you get yourself out of the computer screen. Beginning to arrive in your sacred space. So just noticing that connection between you and the earth below you, the sky above you, and you in the middle. Now find a balanced breath. So an equal part inhale, and then an equal part exhale. Follow it in, follow it out. And then just take your next three or four breaths to observe the change of the inhale into the exhale. So that moment at the top of the inhale when it changes into the exhalation. And then the bottom of the exhalation, that moment when it changes into the inhalation. And then in your mind's eye, as you follow that inside the texture of your body, notice that circular, radial energy of it that connects to it. Now it's a practice, right? So let's begin to really just practice. Slow, full inhale. Slow, full exhale. All right, with that deep breath, that deep nourishing breath, let's begin to harmonize it and sync it with some movement. So with your next breath in, keeping your toes curled under, we're gonna round the body all the way forward into a cat back. So tuck your chin in, spread through your shoulder blades and suction the navel up. Then as you breathe out, find cow, so just drop the belly, and on the same exhalation, we're gonna glide the bum all the way back to the heels. So let's mix swings up a little bit today, modify. Breathe in and round the body all the way forward, like a cat. As you breathe out, arch the spine, glide the bum to the heels. Okay, let's do that a few more times. Breathing in. Breathing out. So really just ride in your breath. Ride in your breath into any sensations that you're probably feeling in your tootsies. <laughs> Two more cycles. Accessing the energy points of your feet. One more. Now this time as you glide back, pick up your knees and then push the hips back and we will enter downward facing dog position. Now straight away, send your heels back so we begin to work into those lovely hammies, hamstrings. This is area in Ayurveda that corresponds to this earth element. And it's this earth element that we are working with today. So begin to find that rooted, stabilized place from the hands and the feet. And then in your strong, steady container, Let's have you lift your right leg up and back behind you. Now bend your right knee so you draw your right heel in towards your glute. We're going to take a few half mandalas with this right leg. So the right knee is going to come in towards your chest. Keep your hips high so you're still in this inverted V shape. And then send the right knee all the way out to the right. Deep external hip rotation. Send it back and then down. 
Okay, so all we're doing is mobilizing through this right hip socket. Imagine that you've got a pen, a paintbrush attached to the right knee and you're gonna paint on the wall, get colorful. So inhale, guiding that right, right thigh into the chest. Exhale as you open and circular round. Keep moving with your breath, one more cycle. Okay, now with your next breath in, re-extend your right leg. As you breathe out, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Once the foot lands, I want you to bring your feet about hips distance apart. This will help with stability. Bend your right knee and then lift up your chest, lift up your arms. Take a moment and let's just arrive in our high lunge. So your right knee is stacked and I want you to drive your left heel back. So you'll feel this activate through your left leg and then tuck your tailbone under. Now this is going to help work into that left hip flexor. Keep your navel in and you're lifting up and lengthening through the side seams of your body. Hold and breathe. Let's follow that breath again. So following the inhale and noticing how the top of that breath begins to turn into your exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, it turns back into the breath in. Breath out. So really just bringing your mind into this practice, into your body. Now with a stable body, let's work into pyramids. So you're going to reach your hands forward, lengthen your legs, lengthen your spine. Hello, hammies, right? <laughs> Now, some of you may be able to bring your hands to the ground. If they don't quite reach, grab some blocks or books, whatever you've got accessible. Now, try to neutralize your hips here. So pull that left hip forward as you send your right hip back. We'll begin to pulsate a little bit. So inhale, lift up through your chest. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Mobilizing, lubricating that right hamstring. And again, inhale, think halfway lift with your back. Exhale to fold. One more, breathing in. Shoot in the crown of the head forward. As you breathe out, softening into your chest. Softening the head down. All right, good. Rebend your right knee. Lift up your arms. Power down through that right foot. And then send your left foot all the way forward to meet the right foot. Chair pose. Now, some of you might want to bring your feet hips distance apart. Others of you might want to bring your feet together. Really just depends on what feels good for you in your body and your bones. We want to find this really stable place, this strong, steady container. That's what we're working with today. So find that place, find that position for you. And then from there, we're gonna add on. So lift up your heels, come onto the ball of the feet. I like to squeeze my thighs together here to really turn on the legs. Hold for three, keep your navel in, spine long. Two, wrap the pinky fingers in, look forward. On one, lift up your left heel, send it all the way back. Woo, without wobbling, she says. <laughs> Once the foot lands, try to keep that right heel off the ground. Lift up your arms, breathe in. As you breathe out, open your chest, open your front body. Keep that right heel lifted. We're working with this stable container, remember? Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Once the hands come down, float that right foot back to down dog. Hoo hoo, left side we go. Keep your hands rooted and then extend the left foot up and back. Bend your left knee, heel towards the glute three half mandalas so mandala just means circle left thigh into the chest up round down work deep into that femur bone which is just a ball rotating around the socket so you might hear a little pop a little click a little crackle that's all good stay with your breath one more now extend the left heel up and back Straighten the hamstring out, swing the foot all the way forward. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Press down through the ball of the feet and then lift up your arms. High lunge. Okay, take a moment to settle. Left knee bends. 
And I want you to really feel that engagement of the right heel going back. So what naturally will happen after that action is you'll kind of want to dump into the lower back. So you might be able to notice it on me as I send the right heel back, I start to arch. Well, can you counteract that by keeping the right heel extended but tucking the tailbone under? So we lengthen through the right side, the right hip flexor. Magnetize the fingers up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Steady yourself with that breath. Bring your mind to it. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, you're doing amazing. Inhale. Exhale. All right, lengthen your legs, your arms, your spine, pyramid pose. So you bring the weight forward here into that left foot. You're light on the right toes. Your hands can be hovering, the hands can be at blocks, books, or maybe the ground. Now check in with your lovely hips. Left hip goes back, so the right hip can drive forward. Yes, that's it, you can feel it, I know you can. <laughs> Hold here. And then let's link breath to some movement as we work deeper into the hamstring. So inhale, puff up your chest, sink halfway lift. Exhale as you fold and sink a little deeper. So just let the breath assist you here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Keep riding the breath into any sensations. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Now let's have you bend that left knee again. Lift up your arms. Find your focus, your drishti. So just focus on one spot on the wall that's in front of you. And then step the right foot next to the left foot. Chair pose. Now pick your poison. Your feet can be hips distance apart. I always like to bring my feet together. Bum back. Arms lifted. Second round, we're going to lift the heels up. Toes, chest lifted, gaze forward at your horizon, arms open, chest expanded, breath deep, inhale, as you exhale let's begin to float the left foot all the way back, try to keep the right heel up, once the left foot lifts, arms extend. Let's take a little baby back bend. Keep the right heel up, 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 and then open up. Exhale. Inhale back to your crescent with ease. Exhale, hands come down to the ground with vigor. So once the hands come down, you can step the right foot all the way back to meet your left foot. Now let's have you walk your hands all the way back. So we come to the back of the yoga mat. You're gonna post your hands under your tootsies and we're gonna to come to Padahatasana, gorilla pose. So your fingertips are close to your heels and the toes are all the way up to your wrists. Now this is a really nice way to work into the hamstrings but then also give the hands a little bit of a break. After all them downward facing dogs. <laughs> So the, right, the weight's going to come forward into the ball of the feet and then you're going to pick the hands up under your feet. And then you should begin to feel this stretch out the spine too. Mm, stay with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands. Walk them all the way back out. Second round we go. We're going to add just a little bit on. So from your down dog, let's have you lift your right leg up and back. We'll skip out the mandalas now. Breathe in, breathe out right foot forward. Lift your arms up, crescent lunge, we inhale. Now this time as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands forward and down. Lunge into that right foot to lift up your left leg. Stand in splits position. Now I want you to really drop your head here. Keep driving through your left toes. You can keep your hips neutral or you might want to externally rotate that left hip. Just do something where your legs are working here because what I tend to see is people just be like, nah, you know, half asleep. Full commitment, full energy. Keep beaming the left foot up and breathe in. 
Now, as you breathe out, the left knee will glide in towards the chest. You're going to lift your chest all the way up. Take your time. Lock out your right leg. Find that strength, that strong container. Lift up your vessel, lift up your left knee and try to shoot your left heel forward. So now we're going to really work on strengthening the hamstring and your hip flexors. That left hip flexor is having to really pull the leg up. Okay, breathe in. As you breathe out, swing your left foot back, flow into warrior three. So that just means you're going to bring your spine and your leg in line. Just focus one spot on the wall or a floor or your floor. Keep your chest lifted. So imagine that you're in a back bend here. Point the left foot or flex it, do something with it and breathe, inhale. As you exhale, lift the chest, lift the left leg all the way up and forward, shoot it forward. We'll do one more of them, breathe in. Breathe out, swing the left leg back like a pendulum, lower the chest. Good, now drop that left foot back, lift up your arms. High lunge, breathe in. As you breathe out, chair pose. Left foot is gonna meet the right foot. Now I want everyone to bring their feet together this time. The hands are gonna to come to the heart center. Lift up your heels. Sit your hips all the way down to them. Hold and breathe. Toe stand. Now just check in with your spine here. Make sure it's nice and erect like an arrow. The hands will meet at the center of the chest. Thumbs to your sternum and elbows in line. Hold, stay lifted. And if you're finding this really easy, close your eyes. <laughs> Bring that awareness inward. Focus the mind to stabilize the body. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the ground, send the hips up to the sky, fold the chest over the legs. Now bring your feet as wide as your hips. Wrap your peace fingers around your big toes here. Let's stretch out those hammies. Elbows are gonna draw out as you drop your chest and release your skull. And you can choose to make this more passive where you just allow gravity assist to assist you. Or if you're really feeling it in the back of the legs like I am, make it more active. So pull the chest down, still with a sense of ease though, so not too much force, moving with mindfulness, breathe in, breathe out, beautiful my loves, release your fingers, bring the hands to the ground and then walk your toes all the way to a downward facing dog. All right, left side, and then it's chill time. Left leg is going to lift high as you breathe in. As you breathe out, step the left foot all the way forward. Swing it forward. Left knee bends, arms extend. High lunge, crescent pose, breathe in. As you breathe out, hands are going to come to the earth. Weight lunges forward into your left foot as the right leg lifts up. Stand in splits pose. Now hands can just be by the side to find your balance and keep your breath balanced. So as you inhale, try to lift that right leg even higher. And then as you exhale, fold, let the breath carry you down deeper. Three more, breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling, last one, breathe. All right, my loves, right knee glides in towards the chest, squeeze in, stay anchored through your left foot, pull up your chest. We arrive in one legged Tadasana. Once you get there, that right heel is going to reach forward. And it doesn't matter if the leg's down here. Just try to extend the leg. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, swing the foot all the way back. Pendulum it back. Try to keep the leg straight. Fly your arms open. Warrior three. Virabhadrasana three. Let's work on our balance. One more round. Inhale, the leg comes forward. Lift up the chest. Hands to heart center. 
Exhale, swing back. Just like a pendulum, what goes to one side has to go to the other, right? Inhale. As you exhale, drop the right foot down. Lift up your arms, breathe in. As you breathe out, chair pose position. Right foot meets the left foot. Sit low, hands to your heart center. Moment to pause, heels lift, bum towards the heels, spine upright, close your eyes. Notice the sensations that begin to come through. So we've shut down from our external environment and you've got no other option but to face what happens on the internal. So stay with it. Be with what comes your way. And then breathe in. Breathe out. Amazing, my loves. Open your eyes. That probably never felt so good. Bring the hands down. Lift up your hips. Fold over your legs. And this time, let's have you grab hold of opposite elbows and just sway them forearms from side to side. Give the lips a flubber, a flutter. And then once you can feel your legs again, bring the hands under your shoulders, walk your feet back into your inverted V shape. Drop the knees to the ground. Sit the hips up nice and tall. Sit the spine up nice and tall over your hips. And then we'll just sway the hips from one side as we bring the legs forward. I've got a surprise for you. It's called a forward fold and it's so nourishing. So enjoy, bring your feet about hips distance apart. Stay anchored through the bottom half of your body. So your pelvis, your tailbone, you might even want to remove the fleshy parts. And then lift up the chest, reach your fingertips up. Breathe in. As you breathe out, fold yourself in half. Hinge from your hips. Grab hold of whatever's accessible. And like I said before, you always get the choice to make this passive. So just allowing gravity to assist you as you hang. Or if you've got a little bit more to give, you can make it more active, grabbing your ankles, your calves, your feet, your toes, and pulling your chest further down. Take your own inventory of where you're at today. Take your own temperature, what it is that you need right here, right now. Okay, the chest is going to come on all the way back up. Bring your hands behind you as you lie yourself down and bend into the knees. Okay, so first pose, figure four. The knees will be over the ankles and then let's have you bring your right foot, your right ankle to your left knee. Now send that right knee back and flex your right foot so you can see that both knees are in line here. This is absolutely enough. I know there will be some people watching that just want to really drop into that restorative place now. If you wanted to make this a little bit more active, the left knee draws into the chest and the hands bind around the left thigh. Now I'm keeping this left knee drawing in towards the left shoulder as I send the right knee further away. So you should begin to feel this through that right outer hip, the IT band. That's where this stretch is targeting. If you can't feel it and you want to add on a little, you're gonna peel your chest up towards this right leg. The eye of the left elbow is gonna meet the right foot and the right knee is gonna meet the inside of the right elbow. The hands will interlace around your right shin and then you're gonna extend your left leg forward. Lower your back. So it's kind of like you're cradling out this right leg, like it's a little baby, you can hug it out. And for those people that are like, yeah, this feels still quite simple and easy, I do have one extra layer that we can take it to. Peel your chest back up. Hook that left elbow, this time under the right ankle, 
So look how I hook it under. Right arm this time is gonna come behind the back of the head and the hands are gonna interlace next to the ear. Now drop your head back into your arms. Hello, outer hip. <laughs> and if you can't feel this, then you should be a contortionist. <laughs> the next layer actually is to bring that right foot behind the back of the head. Well, let's just take it bit by bit. Nothing too crazy, too crazy right now. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, wherever you are, let's have you stretch both legs back out. Relax your arms by your sides. Ooh, and just feel the effects of that, of all of that. Notice the difference in the sides of the body. Not best or at worst or good or bad, just different. And then let's bring both sides into a better state of balance. So bend your knees again. First base is having the knees over your ankles. Then the left knee lifts up and you guide the left ankle to your right knee. The left knee draws back. So eventually both hips, both knees are in line. Hips are open. Face is relaxed. If you took it to that extra notch, begin to wind the right knee in, hands clasp around your right thigh. Check in with your tootsies, can you flex them? This is gonna really help protect the joints. So keep the feet flexed, hold and breathe. This side might feel a little different to the other side, so just listen, notice. Take the notes of where your body wants you to move. If it's asking you to move a little further, peel your chest up. Wrap your arms around this left leg. So left knee to the inside of your left elbow, left foot to the inside of the right elbow, hands interlace, right leg extends, and then you lower the back. And whilst you're here, I want you to check in with your face because what I tend to see during classes when I cue this pose is there's a lot of crunching and hunching going on, but we don't want to increase tension. We want to decrease it. We want to decompress. So wrap yourself up, wrap your arms around your left leg and then just drop your body, drop into the pose. And if you can't drop into it, then back off. Okay, final position, final variation. Lift the chest back up, hook your right elbow under the left ankle, left arm lifts up, wraps around the back of the head and the hands interlace next to your ear. Now send your head back, kind of like you're in this hammock, <laughs> this self-made hammock. Should feel good. One more breath in. Deep breath out. All right, now begin to extend your legs forward. Relax your arms down. Dropping into our final position where you can just feel the body on the ground below you. Sky above. You in the middle. gentle and nourishing stretch to uncurl and 
And then once that stretch has reverberated through your body, let's have you bring your knees in and just drop your knees over to whichever side is calling you. Land in a fetal position. And notice how your body just hums in contentment, in ease. And then let's have you lift your body up. Cross your legs. Hands to your heart center in a prayer position. Bow your chin to your chest. And may you keep the same sense of stability with you throughout the rest of your day. And as I bow to you, I say namaste. Well done, my loves. Give yourself a big pat on the back. We only have five days left. So get your pom-poms out. Give yourself a little cheering on. And please don't forget to keep sharing your journey with us. I'll see you tomorrow.